Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily fix encoding overloaded error in OBS Studio. So there are a few things you need to make sure of first. So the first thing is make sure you're using the latest version of OBS. Make sure your Windows computer is up to date and make sure you've locked the FPS in your game. So if you're streaming or recording in OBS in 60 frames per second, cap your frame rate in your game as well. So either at 30, 60, 100, just make sure it's capped and stable. Once you've done that, we're going to jump into OBS and make some changes that should solve the problem. So the first thing you need to do is go in and go to settings. Once you're on the settings page, we're going to change a couple of things. So the first thing we're going to change is in the video tab. So go to the video tab, make sure you have your output scaled resolution set as something that your computer can actually handle. So don't try to do this at 4K or something if you don't have the hardware for it. So to do this, just change the aspect ratio from the base canvas to something smaller. So if you've got a 4K screen or a 1080p screen, try doing this in a smaller ratio. So maybe 1280 by 720. Obviously I can't use the drop down menu because I'm recording, but that's a simple enough change you can do. And the next most important one here, probably the most important is to make sure your common FPS values are set reasonable. So if you don't have the hardware for it, don't try to record in 60 frames per second. It's just going to cause a lot of problems and it's very CPU intensive. So set that to 30 then click apply, check to see if the problem goes away. So they're the two main things you need to change. If those don't solve the problem for you, the next one you can do is to go over to the output tab and change your video encoder. So if you're streaming or recording, you're going to have a video encoder. So here you've got quite a few different options. So by default, it's probably set to one of the NVIDIA ones, one of the AMD ones. And depending on your computer, you might also see X64. I'll just put a little image on the screen of what it actually looks like. So choose one of the options that best represents your hardware. So if you have a computer that has a dedicated graphics card, you might want to use one of the NVIDIA options or the AMD options and try to avoid using the X64 because that's CPU bound and it will overload your CPU more than likely. However, if you don't have the option, there's not much you're going to be able to do about it. So you're just going to have to adjust the other settings in the other tabs, which we discussed earlier. We've got the same options over in the record tab. So change your video encoder as well. It's the same exact thing here. And you've also got some options with rescaling. So you can adjust that if you want to. Again, start smaller and work your way up slowly. The other option you can change here as well is from the output tab. And you can adjust your encoder settings here. So you've got your bit rate. Generally 2500 is pretty stable with a CBR setting and this should work for most people. However, if you are still having problems, you can adjust that down. I highly suggest not going too much lower though because you get a lot of uh, quality problems. But if you have been trying to stream and even record at a higher rate, you're definitely going to want to have to adjust that. The final thing, if you're still using a hard drive and not an SSD, I'd highly suggest upgrading because you're going to have a lot of problems with uh, FPS stuttering and all sorts of recording problems just like this one. So you do need to account for that as well for your bit rate. So if you're trying to set a really high bit rate with a hard drive, you're going to have a lot of problems. You just won't be able to keep up with the performance you're trying to put into it. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this guide. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on another video. Cheers everyone.